three really good friends start a podcast for shits and giggles, not thinking much of it. Now, skip forward over two years later, and you have one of the most biggest and influential podcasts, currently touring across the United States with a mass following. So, what happened? I've been following the cast of Trash Taste before they started a podcast, the oldest ones being Grant and Joey, and more recently, Connor. Those three complement each other pretty well, Joey being the chaotic and with more niche taste, Garn with a more analytical and observative side of things, and Connor with an outgoing and expressive energy. These years watching them, I've seen them evolve quite a bit from the first image I had on them, mainly Connor and Joey. Garn has just become more of an adult, I guess. With the opportunities that Trash Taste opened to Sea Dog, in my impression, he seems more confident in himself and little to not reliant on other people to find enjoyment in the things that he does. He strikes me as trying many things and meeting a lot of new people, and that's great for him. It seems he's matured a bunch. Overall, Joey has started to depart a little from anime content overall doing more things in other types of content, dropping a line of clothing, and doing more big projects. It's not a coincidence that the anime man is known for the meme of not watching anime. The Trash Taste podcast has imploded in popularity for the past two years. Having a pretty good start, they've collaborated with many big content creators from a pretty diverse range of types of content. From streamers, VTubers, YouTubers, artists, and many others. Even though all this is an impressive feat in itself, what I'm most impressed about is how much this podcast has survived and stayed relevant for as long as it has, with no signs of slowing down. I feel like in the podcast atmosphere, they don't tend to last very long. They make some episodes of it, see some support, but they always tend to die out. Be it the creators just stop recording them, the podcast gets stale, or it goes down in relevancy. I never see many podcasts lasting more than a year or at most two years. There's only a hand few podcasts up there with trash days in terms of success. Trash days is a special case where even though the three of them had a following by themselves, once they came together, they blew up in popularity as the boys as a unit or a group. On other podcasts, either people watch them because of the topic or the guests and people as individuals. But I've never seen a case like this, where it can resemble following a band or a musical group like in K-pop. Not only did they bring their specific communities together, they created a whole new following, specifically because of Trash Taste podcast. It's gotten to the point where they decided to go on a tour across the United States branching further than just a podcast. It's honestly been a fun journey to see, and I can only wish them a continued success. What do you think about the case of Trash Taste?